Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in hardcore career mode in Stormworks, and today we're not actually going to be continuing on with the jet. Uh, the jet, I thought was actually a really good idea at one point, and now that I've thought about it a little bit, I don't think I want to be using the fuel on a jet plane. I think instead, I might actually build a jet-powered helicopter, which uh, I don't know whether that makes sense or not, but um, I kind of want to start building a helicopter and making it jet powered I feel it makes sense so let's go ahead and start building and hopefully we can come up with something nice all right so let's go ahead and start building and hopefully we can yeah you know make it look nice so let's go for it let's start with something like this as the floor I'm actually gonna go backwards about four and we're gonna have this guy go here there you go is that a little bit weird maybe but uh hopefully it's kind of fine too Let's then attach this guy onto there, we'll grab one of these, and we'll do this. From there, I think, uh, we're actually going to go up even further. So, if we can grab this guy and do this, type a dealio, there we go. We are going to delete most of those, and we're going to get ourselves a window, and hopefully, shove that right in the center. Is it going to look nice? I don't know, maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and try and figure out where it goes though. Probably around there, delete that guy, and delete most of this. Okay, so far, that actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, from there, I think I'm going to go up once more. We're going to go backwards from there about four, and we're going to go and strap one of these guys onto there. Does that look tall? Kind of. Uh, but I'm hoping that it will work. Okay, so far so good. Let's go ahead and extend this guy this way, and obviously this guy this way as well. Uh, we are going to need some sort of engine in there, which I believe is going to go on top of this. And we're going to need to figure out how long this thing should also be. I don't know. I'm not actually entirely sure just yet. Alright, there we go. So honestly, I don't think that looks too bad being that long. Although, now that I think about it, let's go ahead and delete it back to here. And have this piece go upwards about three, I guess. Yeah, sure. From there, we're going to go ahead and extend it backwards using these guys. All the way backwards to around there. Does that look a bit insane? Maybe a little bit. Let's go ahead and delete it here, there we go, and I think I'm just going to attach these guys together. I don't know whether we're going to have a round bit on the back, or what, I'm not sure just yet. But honestly, overall, this actually doesn't look too, too bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this guy, and do this guy as well, there we go. I don't know how far out this is going to need to go, uh, but for now, that's okay. Our windows are now going to go in, they are going to be diamond shaped, I guess, yeah, sure. Uh, and I kind of want them to be, like, big. I don't know how to explain this, but yeah, big. So maybe one of these. No, that's too tall. I need it to be wider, but also shorter. Uh, kind of like that, but again, a little bit taller. Maybe it's this. Oh, it looks like it could be. Alright, shove that onto there. Excellent. We're gonna have these guys go across the top, if possible. Here we go. Yes. And honestly, that doesn't look too bad. From there, we're going to do these guys, obviously, so let's do this. Um, I don't know whether we could get away with doing this as well, but maybe. There you go. Uh, and now that we know that that's possible, let's go and attach these guys together. And I think that's pretty good. Although, now that I think about it, I do want to be able to see sideways. So let's go with... Uh, I, I guess one of these with out the window bit going down or with one of these with the window bit going down so essentially this would go in here kind of like this but not really i don't know how to i don't know how i'm actually going to put that piece in how do you fit this all right let's try it again here we go so one of these guys go ahead and get it in that color whack it on there honestly not too bad Alright, so let's go ahead and build this guy up to there like so. Go ahead and shove this guy all the way across the top like so. And I think we're gonna just do this on the top right here. One of these guys, flip it around, do this. And honestly, I think that is gonna be it. We are gonna have our engine on top of this as well. So I do need to think about that a little bit. But uh, we can figure out that soon, in the end. I don't know. At some point, anyway. So, so far... This isn't looking too bad. All right, let's go ahead and whack this guy into there. There we go, awesome. We can actually do a straight line back with this one. It is making it look slightly ugly doing it that way, but that's what we're doing, so I guess that's fine. Go ahead and shove those guys onto there. 
Don't know what I'm going to do with the bottom pit. Probably something like this. Here we go. And... I don't know, should I drag that bit backwards like this? I actually have no idea. There we go, fill all that into back there. Good. And we're going to have to try and sort something else out with this bit. Don't know how that's going to go though, so maybe one of these. There you go. Drop it down to there-ish, I guess. Um, and then, I think this guy's going to have to come up like so. There we go. We can then do this guy across the bottom like that. And then we need to... I don't know. Would that bit be okay on there? Or... Should we just go straight in with one of these, going this way? Probably. I don't know. I genuinely have no idea. I feel like that looks kind of cool, but also kind of looks ugly. Alright, cockpit windows. Let's go ahead and delete these guys right here, and go straight back to windows. There we go, grab one of these guys, and shove it on there like that. Okay. It looks a little bit like a guppy fish right now. If you guys don't know what that is, give it a Google. Uh, right, okay. Thinking. One of these like this. And actually deleting one of those, and putting in one of these guys as well. Uh, not quite. Uh, where is it? This guy. There we go. Honestly, looks quite nice. Alright, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and fill in the floor a little bit like so. Go ahead and do these guys and these guys. Get ourselves a pilot seat, I guess, and just shove those in there like that. They look a little bit low though, don't they? So maybe undo the floors the way we currently have them. Fill this piece in just a little bit, fill this guy in right here, and we're going to raise it up to there instead. Is that going to look crazy? Maybe. But maybe that's fine. Alright, there we go. Shove those guys into there like that. That looks more like it, I think. Yeah, that looks way more like it. Nice. Okay, what can we see out the sides? Actually, quite a lot. Um, yeah, I do feel like it should be a little bit longer, and then we'll work it out from there, I think. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and cut this. There we go. Drop it backwards to... Uh, I guess around there would actually be fine. There we go. We're now going to copy all of the front piece and drag that bit backwards too. And maybe that'll be fine. Maybe it won't. Who knows? There we go. Drop it back to there. Paste it. Bring it forward to here. Paste it. Merge, merge. Excellent. Spawn it in again. What does that look like? Not too bad. Okay, so where does the engine actually want to go? Well, probably somewhere close to, I, I guess, center. So what I want to do is... What do I want to do? How do I want to work this out? I think I need to delete most of this. Uh, and this piece as well. There we go. We're going to have one singular jet engine. So let's go ahead and try and figure one of those out. And go from there. So uh, build this in upwards. Bring it across the top. Grab that guy right there, attach it onto there like that, delete these guys, and build the engine. Um, I guess. <laughs> so, compressor first, there we go, excellent. Then the combustion chamber, yes. Then the turbine, and then we don't actually need... Um, we don't need the exhaust. However, this isn't going to work, because we need a medium turbine for it to actually do anything. I forgot about that. Alright, well, since we can't do that anymore, let's just go ahead and start working on the rest of it. Uh, and then we can figure out the rest of it after that. But there you go, the inside, pretty cool. Yeah, that's not that's not too bad. Okay, uh, let's delete this guy right here, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And, you know what, actually, let's just do one by twos. Flip that around. Uh, maybe even one by threes. No, one by fours, sorry. So, turn that around, whack it on there. And do this. No, leave it like that. Idea. Idea. We could probably use one of these guys. Because we need to lift it up and pretty much over the engine, right? That's pretty much our goal. So delete these guys. There we go. And then we'll go back to one of these. Shove that on the top right there like this. Send this guy across. Because we can. And there we go. Engine pod thingamabobby is now on the top. Pretty weird, but also probably works. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Alright, there we go. Go ahead and get one of these again. Whack it on the back. I think I'm going to do the same thing. So one of these guys again like this. Going this way. Oh yes. Oh yes indeedy. And then we're going to try and sort these guys out too. So do that. We'll send these guys across, just like so. And this one as well. Bosh. And then we can connect it all together using this. And... 
I don't know. I feel like I do actually want to send it inwards. But that could look weird. You know? Could look very strange. Right, I'm going to do that and this. Might have to move that backwards by one, but that's okay. And I'm going to do this as well. Yes. So there's our inlet right on the front. Jet engine is right there. And that should work. Okay, so if this is what we are going to go for, let's go ahead and start building onto it straight away. We'll go one of these all the way up to around there. We then need to obviously build in the other guys, which is these ones, upwards too. But I do think that's slightly too wide. You know, I feel like that's just a little bit weird. Uh, if we do it that way, yeah, that's going to be too much. So we got to go all the way back. Uh, redo that. There we go. Uh, and we've got to go with these, unfortunately. So that's going to go all the way to there. And then these guys are going to go all the way up to there. Okay. Is that fine? Maybe. All right, there we go. Do this guy as well. There we go. And then this one. And then this one. And then I need it to fit in with the rest of the helicopter too. Yeah, how's that going to work? All right, I decided to move it backwards. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can use maybe these uh, to get this correct. I don't know whether it'll look right, but let's try it. So that's going to go there. We're then going to do this. And I feel like that's actually, that's correct. So now if we go to this one, up to there, down to there, and down to the bottom, we can then cut it and move it inwards. There. And that, to me, looks about the right size, actually. Yes, this is looking pretty good. I'm going to extend this piece on the top backwards a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and send this directly into there. I'll build the walls up. We'll actually send it in sideways as well. And I think that'll look brilliant. All right, cool. So I've gone ahead and sent this backwards even further. We're going to do this guy backwards as well. I could get away with doing this, probably. Uh, and then maybe just a little bit of this. Kind of like that, I guess. And then these guys can obviously go down from there and just match in, maybe? So, something like this, I guess, actually somewhat works. Mm, yeah, I suppose it does. Um, yeah, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and send these guys across there. I will actually fill this in, upside down, obviously, across there. And we will also fill this in too. That looks beautiful. Doesn't look too bad at all. All right, next thing is building these guys in. So we're going to do something like this. Uh, obviously, on this point, we're going to do that, which means we're then going to bring it in by uh, that. There we go. We can then probably have this sealed up like so, all the way to the back end. And uh, I guess I'm going to seal all this bit up too. So essentially, one of these guys is going to go here like this. And one of these guys is going to go here like so. And then again, there we go. Grab this, shove it onto there. And, I don't know, I guess we just send it from there? I don't know, I'm not very good at, like, proportions or anything. But that doesn't look too bad. Let's go ahead and fill this guy in too. One and two. And then... I don't know whether to have it just be straight and work with it or not. Do we go with that? I think so. I don't think that looks too bad at all. Okay, so if that is what we're actually gonna go with, I am gonna leave a gap for a door. Which, I guess, is going to be about six wide. So let's go ahead and do two windows. Uh, and that is going to be where the door is. So grab this, shove it onto there and there. All right, that's the door. We're then going to leave about three blocks. And we're going to have a window and a window. Yeah, and maybe one more. There you go, another window right here too. There we go. So this will be a sliding door. Ah, uh, you know what? I should move it backwards by one. So let's just delete this guy as well. Shove that into there and there. Fix that into here. That looks lovely. Let's want it in. Yeah, nice. So quite a big sliding door on this side. Quite a big sliding door on this side. And then uh, a bunch of seats and stuff like that. So we can carry cargo and we can carry people. Yes. Okay, Houston, I feel like we have a tiny bit of an issue. Uh, that's the fact that we only have very tiny propellers, uh, which is not really what you want. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do two. There you go. And I think I'm going to leave it as like a three and a three. Pretty sure that'll look good. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. Quite tall, but actually probably will work. 
Okay, so now that we've said that, let's go ahead and get ourselves, I don't know, the rear bit too for the small tail rotor. Let's go and move that forwards to about there. Deleting these guys and fixing that in. And then, I don't really know. Maybe one of these actually instead. There you go, so that comes up. And then maybe we can just do something like this. Or maybe these guys. There we go. So, one higher. There we go. Do something like that. Delete those. Fill it in. Delete this guy. And whack this one onto there. And I am going to go ahead and put these guys on here too. Because I can. Interesting. And there it is. Honestly, I think that looks pretty good, so we will leave it as is. I do, however, think I might drop it down by one. So I might actually delete these guys and whack this guy straight onto there, like... I think I might actually do one of these, which could look weird, but there you go. Delete that, there you go, and put this guy on here as well. Which means that the tail fin is actually really big, however, I do think it looks pretty good. So there you go. Anyway, um, that is the entire body of our helicopter complete. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Shall we continue with this or should we continue with the jet? Uh, we do need to get some more research points because in order to continue with this, we need this. 28 research points. So soon we're going to have to do a mission anyway. But yeah, I actually think this is pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Goodbye.